Is this the pozole and some pig feet? It's so good. Emma has her little tamale. So this is the Jamaica. It's pretty much just going to give it the flavor and the red. That color again. Yes. That's where all the color comes from. Um, but yeah. I would say so add a little ingredient. as you go. Because this is very overpowering. If you guys haven't tried this, like try it. You guys are going to love it. It's like the perfect... You can even add some drink you can, for Christmas. So you can drink it as is if you're not a uh, drinker, or you can add your tequila to it, you can add rum to it. You can yeah, my aunt last time, like my, my aunt last time, she added um, rum and it tasted really good. So right now I'm attempting to make the cocoa bombs. Um, right now we're melting the chocolate. I heard if you use good chocolate, like it works better, so we have it melted. I found this. It literally took forever to freaking find this. I went to a Target, um, Walmart. I finally found it at Fry's. It's used for eggs, but hopefully it works. The cocoa mix, I'm going to be using this instead because I grew up on this. So I wanted to try that. Um, but this is, yeah, we didn't have the big, um, I mean the small marshmallows, so we're going to cut these up and put it in there instead. Cocoa bombs are just like unravel and like the marshmallow comes out, the cocoa comes out. It's like a bath bomb, but for like cocoa. For real, that's yeah. literally what it is. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 The cocoa bombs were a fail because the like, the shell like broke apart. It didn't even like come out of the like the circle like egg plastic thing I had it on. So that was a fail. Um, I didn't really want to do it again because it got me frustrated. So today I'm gonna be doing the homemade baked cookies. The ashtray, please. What do you guys want to spark today? Never mind. Brittany just ashed on the floor. <laughs> just ashed on the dog. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm now in the kitchen. This is my first time like doing anything like this on YouTube. I feel like I've never, yeah, I don't think I ever have a video that I ever cooked or baked anything with you guys, so this is gonna be totally different, so I'm excited. I think first things first, we should have like music, get a little vibe going. I hate when it's quiet, it makes me feel like some, like someone's watching me. Like, So I put the music, have the music going, a little vibe going, makes me feel a lot better and more comfortable. So, Let's see, I'm gonna be following um, someone on YouTube. Okay, let me take off my jacket if I can like, I don't know where to be my jacket. Dress like all the, all the time, it's like my comfy dress. Okay, so the first thing she does, actually I should wash my hands. <laughs> it's probably the best. I washed my hands, so I'm clean. So I'm gonna be putting the flour in first because I saw that's what she did, so. <laughs> It's funny because I tell everybody I'm such a baker, and here I am. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Eyeball it. Are you gonna want cookies? Here's the baking soda. I mean, does baking soda really have a flavor though? So just throw that in there. Got the salt. So I got some salt, and we're gonna put that in there. Two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter. Salt. The ones who like more chewy, love it. The ones who like a little crunchy, love it. This is the love. If you like to watch baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. She fucking talks a lot. I hope I'm not like that guy. That's me. That's me. There we go. I always, always check the description. Okay, so this is one teaspoon. So yes, I guess it's good. So put a little salt in there. I like listening to this type of music when I'm like in the kitchen because I feel like it calms me. It makes me more patient for my food. So next we're going to be putting in our butter. I have this little bowl here. We're going to be using a lot of butter. Don't worry, I wash my hands, so that's why it's okay for me to touch the butter. So, leave them out, like half, like what I do with the white sugar, which is brown. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. That's what I do. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens with brown sugar though over time. It'll harden. It just... I feel like the brown sugar is going to make the flavor. That's what I feel. My vanilla extract here. I didn't stir it up, so I'm giving it to you guys raw, like how it looks. So, or maybe I'll pop back out when they're all like me. But I think they're ready. I think that's <laughs> ready. Yes. This is how they look. Um, they smell good. Um, so I took them out because they're like, these are the cookies. I just took them out and put them on the plate. So Brianna and my daughter are going to try them and they're like very critical. So <laughs> I like them. I think they taste pretty good. These cookies came out pretty good. I will say, um, yeah, so they look, taste a lot better than they look. So that's all that really matters but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and bye guys <laughs>